Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Is that you? You are. Yes, you are. Hello there. I know it's been a hell of a long time since I've actually posted something. This might just be the deadest channel on the entire history of YouTube. I don't think I've posted on this channel for like over a year. Even when I was posting, it was extremely inconsistent. I was just kind of posting random ass things like the Krasnogorsk conversion video and random Super 8 videos, stuff like that. I want to put more effort in. I want to start a new series, um, up my consistency with this channel, essentially. Yeah, so to start off with, because I've never actually formally introduced myself. My name's Kieran. I'm a filmmaker and a photographer. I've been both for quite a few years now. I've been doing photography the longest. That's what I started out with in 2019, 2020. I made the conversion from digital to film photography. I loved the whole process, loading the film, waiting for your photos to be developed, the feel and the look that film gives you. And in agreement to many other people out there, I really believe that you just can't replicate it with digital at all. I like to shoot street portraits. I use a Yashica 124G. I've been using it to take all of my portraits. I took that with me to America last year which is where I started my street portraiture. Because of my new job as a, a camera operator for a company, I've had quite a few opportunities, which I've been very grateful for, to be able to travel around Europe. I've made my Yashica my little travel companion. It goes everywhere with me, it takes beautiful portraits in, in a six by six format. Whoever I meet that I find interesting, um, I go up to them and I uh, talk to them. I try and find out a bit about their lives and I take their photograph. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. It's just kind of the deal you get with street photography. And then uh, I'll write about them. I usually post them on my, on my Instagram, which you can find below if you'd like to check out my work. The reason that I do it is, is because I love meeting new people from all walks of life, different backgrounds, mentalities, different ideologies about certain things, people with different knowledge and experience and expertise to be able to connect and talk to these random strangers. Almost all cases I never hear from again. I think I care mostly about just wanting to capture the person in the moment and nothing else really matters. I just want to make sure that the person is in focus and everything that I want the viewer to see is just right there. So depending on the environment they're in, I've taken photographs of people in their working environments before. So I like to include their space because their space is a part of them. It's about the people themselves. Again, I love film because I think for me, it gives a lot of nostalgia. I also think that me with the camera that I've got, it's very helpful with approaching people. They see my camera and they see how old it is. It was from the seventies. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful looking camera. And then when they see that and they see me, they think well, he probably is like a street photographer. In general, I think they, they like seeing these old cameras. That being said, I basically want to create a new series, a new photographic series kind of based around the street photography that I do. And I'm just going to call it something like taking portraits in dot 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 and then wherever because I've been to quite a few places. I want to talk about my experiences in those countries, my experiences with photographing the people of each country. I find that every uh, country's people react differently. And I find that very interesting in people as well. I'd love to actually do more of this and start talking about it more. If you guys have got any other ideas about what types of videos I should make kind of regarding photography, maybe even filmmaking, I can try and do some stuff on that. Then let me know maybe a video on my tips and tricks to street photography or like my experiences using film cameras, stuff like that. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more stuff. Ta-ra.